Hello, welcome to LabView Advantage. In this video, we'll learn about how to customize runtime menus in LabView. In the beginning, we'll write a simple code that does a simple operation. I'll add a button which will help me generate a number. So this will be the boolean button. And finally, I'll add another numeric indicator to display the value that has been generated. So I'm going to add a while loop followed by an event structure. I'll add an event to handle the event whenever I press generate. So if the mathematical palette I'll get the random number generator. So every time whenever I press generate the event will be triggered. And the code existing inside that particular event case will be executed. So in this case, I want to stop my code as well, so I will press stop. So whenever I press stop, the code inside this particular event case will be executed. That means I'm going to stop my while loop by doing that. Now my code is complete. So let me arrange my user interface probably. Now once your application is complete, your program is complete, uh, let us test it first of all, okay, whether it works properly or not. So whenever I press generate, I'm able to generate the random number. Okay and by pressing the stop I can stop my application but when I'm running as you can see all the menu options are available okay this may not be desirable so you just want to populate the menus that you will be actually requiring during the runtime so how we can do it okay to customize the runtime menu go to edit and runtime menu so if uh, in the beginning it is selected to default change that to custom and then in the user menu if you want to select something that already existing from the system you'll select for example in this case I selected the close to stop the application close the application and next I'm going to select the again application item and go to operate and select the entire thing so that I would be able to debug if I want to uh, during the execution of that page. Okay, uh, once you have saved the menu as a separate file, you will be able to use it. So I've already saved it. So I'll close that one. And then if I run it now, as you can see, the application works and I have got only two menus available over there. By clicking that, I can access the different menus as required. This is how you can customize your own menu in LabVIEW. Please like, share or comment on this video. And please subscribe for future LabVIEW videos. Thank you very much for watching.